You can see on the arrow in a couple spots where he, when he stopped where we found the arrow he pulled it out with his teeth. He just get irritated he got to a point where he felt comfortable. I don't know how much penetration he actually got. Action? No. Rolling? Howdy folks. Um, so you know I don't know what exactly we've captured so far, what this video entails, but the hunting public is here. They're still with us. And they managed to stay one night and haven't left yet, so we haven't freaked them out too much. But last night we were talking, we were sitting around the table, and Jake was like, you know what? Let's sit on the ground tomorrow. And I'm like, why not? So me and Jake are going to sit on the ground. Sophie's going to sit in the tree stand and film me and Jake sitting on the ground. Um, you ghillie suiting up? Yeah. I mean, they're not going to see me. They're probably going to see you, but they're not going to see me back there. So the person who's shooting, they're going to see. That's that's <laughs> always good, but this is going to be interesting. Stay tuned. You won't be pissed. So what we did was actually we set up on this field and we set up because there's a huge swamp right here that you guys can tell. There's not a single tree you can hang a stand. If you guys look over right there. There's Jimmy right there and he's sitting in our stand. This is like a 60 yard shot probably. You know what? I'll tell you how long. Actually, I'm not going to do it. But it's probably about a 60 yard shot every single night. Deer walk right out here, go into the field. Every morning they walk right in here, go into the swamp. This morning, you guys saw there was two does literally 20 yards from us. Probably could have shot them, um, which is such a cool experience. I had never spot and stalked a deer like that before, so that's kind of what we're doing. Um, we see some deer on a hilltop, though, right now, so we're going to go see if we can see what it is. Stay tuned. Where do you go? Try your photos once. So it's been kind of a uh, very cool morning, but we haven't seen any big bucks yet. So we're still looking. We're still going to do a little spot and suck. This is something I've never done. And what we're doing is we're leaving this land for the next five days. So we kind of want to push some deer around, see what's actually living out here right now, and see what we can see during daylight hours. And then once we come back, really maybe hunt the tree stands and hunt, you know, more of a traditional style. But let's see what we can find. This spot's going to have a break for about a week here. so. We figured we'd get a little bit aggressive and uh, check some new spots out and see where the hot sign is. And next week when they come back, they'll be able to hunt over it then. Not too worried about bumping the deer around a little bit. They're not gonna leave if they haven't yet. Hopefully they'll be tagged up by the time they get back anyway.
it is officially morning one of our northern Wisconsin hunt. We have uh, teamed up with the hunting public, as you guys know, and we are hunting a piece of land that supposedly has some big deer on it. We have no clue. We're just kind of going off on a limb, kind of letting our property rest for a little bit, and kind of going off and learning some different stuff about hunting and about kind of uh, what we should do. So we're going to sit. Sam's actually going to sit with his bow. I'm going to sit with my bow, and um, hopefully we see some bucks. That's all I got for you guys this morning. Good morning. We are in the stand. Um, it's about currently 8.45. Been in the stand for two hours. Saw three does. Um, I think that's the only thing we saw. We saw these does for about an hour and a half this morning. I think one was in heat. Let off a little grunt call when they left. Then they came back and this deer was kind of walking around, stomping, and shaking his butt, you know, her butt. Kind of enticing those big bucks to get a little horned up but it is October 24th could the deer be horny 100% um, that's what we're waiting on the rut big bucks on their feet hey shut up so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get out of the stand um by all those vulgar things I just said I lost all of my hunting sponsorships so I also currently don't have a harness on either so hashtag not sponsored hashtag mismatched camo hashtag Hand warmers, we're out of here. You know how to get home? I don't. What if I drove all the way home with these? Imagine driving down the road. That could be a challenge, guys. Drive down the road with binos. Wow. Got done, we are exiting the property that we hunted this morning. Um, we're gonna hunt a different property this afternoon. It's kind of cool, all these dudes. We haven't really showed you or met any of the dudes that we're, we're hunting with, but uh, the main dude, he is tagged out, so he's letting us hunt all of his spots. And he says we can shoot whatever we want, so. I just really want to kill a buck, you know? It's just something I've really wanted to do in my life, and I'm gonna try and do it here. But we're gonna head back, we're gonna go meet up with Jake. I guess they saw a couple deer this morning, and uh, let's see how the hunt the public went. They just hunt the public. All right, ready, ready, three, Two, one, go. <laughs> Location two is a little hardwoods area that we're gonna be hunting. Um, I got in here a little early this morning for the evening hunt. A bunch of deer are moving through here and uh, I'm excited to try it out. So I'm sitting below Sophie. Sophie's up there.
So we're back at the place we're staying. I kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Um, Maverick was went on his first hunt with Griffin tonight. How was it? It was, it was eye opening. So how, my... how was he when that doe came in? It's fucking shaky, man. You <laughs> <laughs> was shaking. Thought I had a shaking big buck like coming leaf. in. Yeah, I was shaking yeah, like leaf oil. So. Yeah, dude, I thought I was gonna freaking pepper and that. The red flannel. Yeah, and the red flannel sitting in a in a ground blind with a red flannel. How do you feel about that, Al? <laughs> He's an idiot. I have an arrow knocked. I'm like. Dude, see, it's a doe and I, I see it's a doe and it doesn't stop. I'm like, I'll still shoot it. And I saw two fawns. I'm like, nah, can't do it. Deer camp. Everybody's talking about deer, but look at this. This is kind of some of the deer that they've killed around this this part of Wisconsin. Just absolutely insane to see see deer like this. I've never even shot a buck with my bow, so if this doesn't get you hyped. I don't know what does, but I don't know exactly where we're at in this video, what we've accomplished or what we've shown you, but. We've done some deer hunting, still no successful kills on camera yet, but you know, I'm sure it's gonna happen this week. We've got a couple more days up here. The rut's about to happen. All these deer are actually like solo. They're like just moving by themselves, which is a really good sign. They're moving during daylight hours. They're moving lots of miles during the day. So like I just said, so that's good. And we're gonna, we're gonna get some food. We're gonna get some chili in us and get to sleep early tonight, get up early and see how many hours you can put in the stand tomorrow.